Hey, hey, it's Jeremy here and welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a designer from Sydney, Australia. So I may have a Aussie accent. G'day, mate. But um, yeah, we're gonna be redesigning some logos today. And some of the logos I like, but you know, some of them need a bit of refreshing up. But you know, it's fun to do logo redesigns. You can experiment. I'm also learning at the same time and practicing while I'm doing it. And you guys can see how I create or redesign a logo and you know, let me know what you think. But yeah, we're gonna jump into it. And first, you may not know these logos, but I'm trying to specifically do Australian based logos. So if you look at the screen, there's a cool burger shop, man. Their burgers are really good actually. Um, it's like better than Macca's like times a hundred, but yeah, they got, it's called Betty's Burgers and Concrete Co. I don't know why it's Concrete Co. Like imagine going to a burger shop and saying, Hey, do you want to eat some concrete? <laughs> but it's like an ice cream thing where they mash it up, um, like cold rock where they mix it with like chocolate and syrup and all that stuff. But yeah, Betty's Burgers, really good, but man, their logo type needs some work. I feel like some guy just like quickly hand drew it, but it's a bit sloppy. So we'll see what we can create. Um, the other ones, let's go, is uh, Grilled. Um, I don't know, I think this is in America, but yeah, they're awesome burgers, really cool. Got a nice playful monoline font there, which is really nice, and the, the big red circle, which is cool. And yeah, let's jump into Illustrator. I'm gonna load it up and then see what we can create. So first up, I'm going to, I'll, I'll start off with the Betty's Burgers one. So I've got some websites, I've got Adobe fonts as well. And typically I like to, you know, play around and see some different fonts. Sometimes they actually have some packs here, um, so I can explore some font packs. And I know Betty's Burgers, they have sort of a vintage retro feel when you walk in, and also even their color palette um, implies that as well. But um, yeah, you, you can get some some cool fonts here. Um, I do have a lot downloaded as well because I do purchase um, font bundles, especially from like design cuts and stuff. So you can see here, I can download the whole um, you know, template and, and all these fonts here, which is pretty cool. I'm really looking for like a script font because I don't want to go too far off the original logo. I want to sort of um, keep that, um, the logo intact. But for now, I'm just going to jump in and use some of the fonts that I have. So cool. I'm just going to go in here, start typing. I just have the picture on the left here just in case. So I'm just spelling it right. So Betty's Burgers. And I'm just going to start duplicating it. And I'm going to change the case. Typically, when it's um, a script font, you want to keep it lowercase uh, because it just doesn't look good in when it's like all caps. It just it doesn't work properly. And then I'm just gonna go around here. The cool thing about um, Adobe CC is that you can filter stuff out. So I can just filter script fonts with this like little filter thing, which is super cool. So I'm gonna go through here and just select different fonts, different script fonts that I feel that could work. We don't wanna go too premium. We still want it to be like bubbly and fun um, to you know be appeal to that younger, younger crowd, younger vibe. I just want to freshen up the logo, make it fit nicer. And I sort of want like a thick, a thick font here. That's a demo one, don't want that. Uh, Betters Burgers. What else we got here? We've got so many fonts, it's too many. Streetwear, no, that's too fast. I actually like that. Um, that one's nice. Helico, yeah, that one's good. So I always try and um, focus on just building a type wall, and a type wall is just like chuck heaps of fonts and yeah, start to pick out different ones and just do like a process of elimination. So I always try and see like if this, I don't like this one or not, this one's not working, I'll take it out. And, um, and yeah, and then finally pick the one that's going to like fit the style. But yeah, it is a burger shop. It's not aimed, it's, it's aimed at like mostly everyone, but, um, majority I'd say it's like, you know, 20 to 40 year olds typically. 
when you go into the store, you, that's what you see. But the, the burgers are good, so I'd rather go there than go Macca's. They do cost a bit more, but they taste heaps heaps nice. That script is alright. I might try that. Cool. So we got some fonts here. Now I'm gonna see what we have going on. I'm just gonna drag this over here. Hmm. So this one, this one's nice. Back, um, back, bake soda, back soda. I don't know. It doesn't have an e in it, so I don't know. Do you think you call it bake soda? <laughs> Um, these ones feel really nice. This one is a bit tight there with the I don't really like the B. This one is good as well. Steak and cheese brush regular, um, which is really nice. So I'm f I'm feeling these two over here right now. Well, I don't know it's going so far. And this one is okay. Mm, I think it's a bit too curly on those curves there. Yeah, I feel like these ones work really well. And I like the personality of this one and even the T's and stuff. It's pretty cool. I feel like this... Yeah, i got to fix this apostrophe. But the Y is really weird. Okay, there we go. I think there was a typo. Betty, this should be an S. Okay, that is an S. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the top one. I really like the the B here. It's got some attitude. It's got that brush feel. So we'll stick with this one. So this is back soda regular. I'm pretty sure this is a free font. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start to like duplicate this and um, start to play around with different layouts. And I always try and you know do experiment and do different layouts and see how I'm like trying to fit it in with that with the space there. Um, that's pretty cool. Do another version. I'm just playing with the kerning and tracking just to like fix it up because sometimes it doesn't like fit nicely. I'm going to turn off the spelling here, the auto spell check, just so it's, you know, guys are not staring at a red line the whole time. This one. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to customize it so I can sort of keep the original like little, they had a little swoosh. So if I can try and keep that. And then maybe I can see this. have it inside the actual swoosh. I feel that works like a lot better. And then I can like fix it up there. I'm just tweaking as I go. I'm just sharing that. Two point 
too much shit. <laughs> okay. I think. And I think I should, um, where's the other one? Oh, should I just leave it like this? I'm trying to make it balanced. Feel like this is too thick here. Doo -doo -doo. Feels a bit weird here on the curve, but I don't want to go too crazy with it. Might be a little bit too small, but. Anyway, looks pretty cool. Betty's Burgers. There's an extra anchor point there. The colors they're using are kind of nice. It might just, um, maybe let's just saturate it some more just to make it stand out. So I'm gonna use this, this nice blue here. Get a white, let's go blue like this. Cool, it's already looking fresh. So I like this kind of blue. And then what I'm actually gonna do, I can actually go to my color guide here and Let's play around. Let's see what we got. We got complementary colors, um, tetrad. Let's see if these fit. Yeah, this color kind of looks nice. That's complementary. So just more, just saturating the colors more. So I can copy this over. Like that. Do 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 Make sure I actually have to add it to my swatches panel first. It is a little harsh though when you're losing the colors. I probably wouldn't use the colors like that. I would just do it with white. And then you can... I would, however, do like a black. Black works too. And then you can make this like punched out of the little swoosh thing there. Fresh. And then what if we did something with like the bees? Um, make like a do like a monogram thing. I've already expanded it, but I'll just um, see. Whoa, what's happening here? Delete this. What if we had like a double V or even just like one B like this? Like that can be like sort of like the icon. Betty's thing that's kind of neat. Maybe maybe roughen it up a bit.
just a little bit make the circle like a bit uneven cool there we have it we got our Betty's Betty's burgers let me know what you think on this one and we'll jump straight into the next one sweet so that's a new logo I feel like the typography the the new script font feels a more, more bolder um, a lot more readable and playful and even works better with having the you know the extra part of the name inside of this shape here the only thing is it is a little bit small so whether um, the swoosh could be bigger or something like that or just have it on the side because it is a, a bit of a long name but um, yeah I feel like it works well you know it'll probably just keep it minimal white and um, when there's not when it's not on color you could do the same colors as well so I could do the blue like this oh I don't know why that didn't go white and uh, yeah so it works like that when it's on a white um, even probably on a on a gray background as well so if like I did uh I did like a gray it works on a gray too as you can see there drop that on so yeah let me know if you think it, 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 it we improved it or not and um, leave a comment and let's jump into the next one so just gonna scroll down so what we're gonna do we're gonna go we're gonna play with grilled. I feel like grilled is a kind of a good logo. They they have awesome burgers as well. You can customize it, juicy burgers. But um, yeah, I feel like this font in the bottom here is I don't know. It feels feels a bit weird. I don't know if it's the same as this. It could have been like custom drawn. I don't know. But this feels a bit sloppy. And uh, but the grilled, it's all monoline. Um, I guess people recognize the red circle, so even if it's on a slant and you, people can't really read it, um, even that R, some people might not be able to read that R, but um, but yeah, the red circle, they've been known for that, so, you know, they have that, so, let's see, let's play around, and see what we come up with, I think Grud is really inspired by, like, American type of um, burgers, and that whole culture. So we could go with a more western type of vibe, type of feel. So we got this font. It's Bernie is pretty cool. I think this is a free font as well. I used this a couple times. They've got like the regular and they got the distressed. Like it feels nice. It's got this cool like feel to it. Like still modern but like not too vintage but like a bit playful. Has that like personality. Um, and it feels natural because they're, they're more they promote healthy burgers so we want to sort of have that natural feel and I'll probably stick with a sans serif or maybe even a slab serif see what slab serifs we have um, uh, no nope. Brie canter bold Chuck five Roman that one's okay Clarendon he I'm actually gonna go probably we got ultra that's all right i might go on um what do you think of these fonts here let's play around let's let's find some more sans serif fonts because i feel like maybe slab serif is just too too much we can go something clean american auto we've got plenty avenue avenue is all right as well I have some cool fonts here, where are they? Corsa Grotesque. Grotesque is very nice. Coco Goose. A lot of good fonts here. Coco Goose is a good one as well. Gotta have that. And I 
Let's see. Yeah, fill this one. This two. What's this one? Coco Goose one feels good. Let's see how. So we got black. Let's go with this one. It's got like the nice rounded corners, as you can see there, which feels nice. It feels more friendlier. Um, typically when you're yeah, when you have rounded corners, it feels more friendly, more approachable. Um, that's why you want to try and get that. So I'm just laying out this font, Coco Goose Classic. <laughs> what an awesome name. And um, yeah, it looks good. It's got a lot of weights. That's why I like it. So we can use it. So we've got extra, extra bold black, bold, regular, extra light. They even have thin as well, which is even thinner than that. So yeah, that, that I kind of like this font. So I feel, feel probably extra bold or bold. Let me go. This G looks weird though. We got them grills. Okay. Well, why is this stuff so big? Yeah, I, th I feel like this this is kind of cool. So, yeah, it's something different. Might be might tighten that up a bit. No, I guess we'll leave that. I'm gonna pump this D in a bit. The kerning there. Just tighten up this because it has a lot of like white space. And um, I'm probably gonna customize this G just to make it feel more custom. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle out. I always like customizing type. It's like so useful. Got my guides on. Yeah, you always want to try and customize type. Um, so it just, it's not it's like a font. It feels like it's like bespoke. I might just maybe just like this. Four points. Probably is very similar to that. Yeah. And that's looking good. We'll see, like maybe what if you put it on an angle or the bottom bit on an angle. See how that looks. I think the bottom, the top part looks better. And I might bring this up a bit. Groove. Cool, that looks good. I have to round this off as well, this um, corner. And I gotta make sure that it's a similar thickness. So yeah, I gotta fix this. Okay, that should look better now. Cause I was looking a bit off and I was like, why is it looking funny? Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that looks good. Maybe drag it a bit more down. You can press in the outline mode. I like doing that to see what I'm doing. Grilled. Yeah, that looks fresh, cool. So I'll, I'll go with this thing. I'm just gonna plus these two together like that. We got grilled healthy burgers and might tighten that up a bit. Get under there. And it'll be cool to have something like a little grill or something. But I don't want to overcomplicate the logo. Alright, let's jump onto some um, color. Do, 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 do. Color. Alright, let's go color. Let's go um, trends. The cool thing about Adobe Color is that a lot of people add colors to it and um, it also locates trends now. So you, you can look by like different stuff. You know, flavor. Let's go flavor here. And wow, look at these colorful palettes. Like so many, so much stuff. So much interesting. I feel like. 
the color palette. We should widen the palette a bit more. Is there any other pages? There's a couple pages. That one is interesting. Um, we could go green as well. Because they're focused on like healthy burgers. But red just stands out, I guess, in the burger market. And it does differentiate a little bit. We couldn't go orange though, because that's like Hungry Jack slash Burger King. Um, in Australia, it's called Hungry Jacks, if you didn't know. <laughs> but that's probably another logo we can redesign. And... Maybe this one. Yeah, I'll add this one to the library. And let's see what else. I guess the turmeric one looks good. I'll add that those to the library and let's let's play around with it. And then it should pop up here. Yeah, it's already popped up, which is super awesome. So that one's there. So this is another palette. We could go yellow and just I'm just gonna group these together. This should be outlined. And yeah, see what we can do here yellow is like happy vibes also feels a bit fresh so what we could do is make this like a dark color that dark orange or something and then we could have like some illustration or Instead of having like this bright red color that they have if uh yeah like look at this it's very very bright red got this other red it's a bit desaturated i feel like we could have this nice orange palette here Probably make it a desaturated red. I kind of like this red actually. And these browns. Uh, might get rid of that orange. Make it this red color. And then I, I usually go to my color palette here. The color section and I can actually like edit it. So if I go click the menu and then go H, uh, HSB is hue, saturation, brightness. So I can actually like brighten it up or like make it even more dark. Or like lighten it. So kind of like having nice contrast. So I could use this like color, this sort of like earthy color for different like, textures or backgrounds or whatever. I just have this version here. Doo -doo -doo. Cool, that's kind of looking good. And um, I'm trying to feel like if we can add anything else to it, make it a bit different. Even like putting it within a shape. But um, like, what if this? Just got an ID. So, what if we make this like a grill thing? happening here you gotta ungroup it just lock in the background and um, yeah like you can make it obviously a grill has like those grillets which is like those lines and that's how they get those grill marks so even has having that makes it a bit interesting but yeah I think I'm just gonna leave this leave it like that 
All right, guys, that's all I have time for right now. So next time we're going to do something different. Leave a comment below what type of logos you want to see. If the Australian ones that you don't know of, you know, I can do some more Australian um, companies, which is which will be fun. But yeah, I realized this video was going too long, so I had to cut it a bit short. So I just did two this time. But yeah, if you like this, share it around, give it a like, and hit subscribe on my channel for more logo redesigns and some other tutorials later down the road. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.